In this tutorial, we'll see how to upload uh, content on the Nadra repository. So let's say first how to upload uh, a document or an image. The first thing is to go to the Nadra repository, which is available at the address nadre.ethernet.edu.et. Then, the first thing is to log in. So you, click, you go to the upper right corner and click on Login. You select the Grid IP as Federation and IDP Open as Catch-All Identity Provider. Then you put your credentials and you log in. Here you are inside the Nadre repository logged in and you can see here your username. Then you click on Submit. And then you choose the type of document you want to upload. You choose the collection, in this case, Publication Ethernet, and you click to submit a new record. This is the web form you have to fill to upload the document. Let's go field by field. So at the beginning, you should reserve the digital object identifier for your object. Then you choose the type, Publication. You put the resource title. Then you put the author, if there is more than one, one, by, one per line. Then you put the abstract of your document. Then you select the number of pages, the language, and the date, either the creation date or the uploading date of the resource. Then you put the keywords, which are actually the metadata you can use later to search for your object. So let, this has, these have to be done one per line. Then you choose the license. There are lots of uh, possible choices. In this case, you will choose Creative Commons by attribution. Then you can add, if you want, the references, and an example is provided. And then you choose the file from your local uh, directory, from your local disk, to be uploaded. And you click to upload. And then you finish the submission, clicking on the button. The file has been uh, uploaded. You get the number, you get the code, and then the librarian of Nadre will take care of publishing the data. Now let's see how to upload an image. So we select image as category, image Nadre, Nadre as a, a collection, and we fill a similar web form. So let's, let's choose the DOI, the title of the image, the author, the description, the date, the keywords, this means the metadata, then you choose a license, You, you, if you want, you can put the references, one per line, and then you browse your local disk to find the image to be uploaded. There it is. And then the upload starts. So the, up, the, the image is transferred to the another repository. And once the uploaded is done, you can eventually resize the image and if you are happy with the sites, you finish. And then you get the confirmation email and the library will take care of publishing your resource. That's the end of the first end zone. So now let's, let's see the second end zone. 
and we will see here how to upload a video recording to the Nadre repository. So again, first you go to the Nadre website, to nadre.ethernet.eu.et, and then you log in. You click on login. You choose the Grid IP Federation, the IDP Open Identity Provider, or any other you are enrolled in. You insert your credentials, the credentials provided by your IDP. You click and you are in. Once you are in, you click on Submit. And this time, you, in this time, you choose uh, audio video recording as document type. You choose the collection and you ask to submit a new record. Here, there is the web form, similar to the ones before, that you have to fill. So first step, you reserve a DOI, you enter the title of the video, the author, in this case just one, but uh, more than one, one per line, the description, the language, the creation here, and the keywords, one per line. These are the metadata you can search this object for in the another repository. Then you select the license among the many available. Here you can add the references and the the way to do is provided, and then you upload the video. So you choose the video from your local disk, and then you upload. And then the upload starts. Okay, so the, the upload now is almost complete. And once the upload is complete, you can preview the video. You can select the aspect to ratio, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, or custom. And once you are happy with this aspect ratio, you finish the submission and you get the confirmation that your video has been uploaded and then the librarian will take care of uploading the video and making it public and you will be notified. This is the end of the second hands-on.